I thank uh, the ranking member, uh, Mr. Walden from Oregon, for your steadfast support on this issue. I want to thank the chairman for uh, getting to this point where we're back on the floor and the Energy and Commerce Committee in general for its uh, support of this bill four years ago and now a four-year uh, reauthorization. As the founder and co-chair of the Childhood Cancer Caucus, I've met with countless ca uh, cancer patients and advocates who have asked me for one thing, hope. They want meaningful hope, something realistic, something tangible, better cures, safer treatment, more research dollars. So alongside with my colleagues, Mr. Butterfield, Mr. Kelly, Ms. Spear, we have uh, used the Childhood Cancer Caucus to produce that hope. This caucus has yielded tangible results for the hundreds of thousands of patients, advocates, and parents that were just hoping for better results. When we first started this caucus over a decade ago, there were only two new drugs developed to specifically treat pediatric cancer in the prior 20 years. And I would talk to these children and their parents, and they would tell me that the cancer just had no treatment. Or if there was a treatment, it was from a drug developed in the 1960s or older. And many of these drugs were meant to be used by adults, <clears throat> and their intent was to kill the cancer before they killed the patient. And that is why Mr. Butterfield and I worked together to pass the original Creating Hope Act in 2011 to try to create a market to get more pediatric cancer and rare disease drugs approved in this country. Specifically, our bill created a voucher award within the FDA where companies that develop rare pediatric disease drugs have priority on future products that could save kids' lives. I'm happy to report that this, this program has been very successful. Since 2014, when the first voucher was issued, 22 new drugs for rare diseases in kids have been approved by the FDA, including two drugs for childhood cancers, with more expected on the way. I've seen firsthand the wonders of this program. In September of 2013, a constituent of mine named Rex Ryan was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma at just 18 years old, months old. After exhausting all options, Rex was blessed to have received a no novel new drug that was developed and approved in part because of the incentive of the Creating Hope Act. Rex is now cancer free and a healthy third grader, saved by the drug developed because of this program. It is for Rex and all the other children that have been saved because of this program and will be saved from this program. That is why I stand here today in support of the bill. And I think most remarkably, a, a dear friend of mine, Dr. Allison from MD Anderson, who had a childhood cancer clinical trial going, was able to use the voucher program to obtain FDA approval for a treatment now called immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is a breakthrough in cancer treatment, not just for children, but for all adults. And he got the Nobel Prize for medicine for it. And while this bill before us today reauthorizes the program for another four years, I would hope to see, when we come back again, this program will be made permanent. So I look forward to working with my colleagues in the Congress to achieve that goal. Appreciate the support from the advocates, members of my team, especially my outgoing legislative director, Thomas Rice, who spent countless hours meeting with the advocates, the brains behind the operation, and Nancy Goodman, who gave us all these great ideas to develop four major pieces of legislation. Um, can't thank you enough, Thomas, for all your great work. Together we can and will defeat childhood cancer. It's vital that we keep this program alive so that we keep hope alive for the hundreds of thousands of children and their families that are waiting for the break, the big break of a treatment. Uh, so with that, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank you and my colleagues, and I yield back. Gentleman from Texas, yield.